So today we have the Starlink. We have the Gen 2 and then we have the Gen 3. This is Starlink Gen 3. And with the Gen 3, it has improved performance compared to the Gen 2. So let's get into it and then let's check the Gen 3 out. If you are new, make sure you subscribe because more will be coming right here on this platform. Don't forget, more Starlink unboxing and more will be coming with the review with the Starlink will also be on this platform. You can also check it right in the comment section or description for the link to check it out. After my review, how it went with the performance and everything. Let's not talk too much. Don't forget to first like this video and more videos will become right here on this platform. So now the Starlink has been open. We have this. I will talk about each and every one. Okay, so don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry at all. Okay, so in the box, we also have this as well. As I said, don't worry, I'll be explaining everything. In the box, we have this as well. Also, we have this. And the last device inside is this. Now we have the manual as well and nothing else in the box so yes this is it so now let's go to the Starlink let's look at the one by one and also we will look at how we can set it up as well so with the setup I will show you how it is done in this particular video but there's the manual and then we have the router itself very slick then we have the Starlink cable which is thick and also um, water resistance as well and we have the AC in to power your um, router and also we have this so yes this is what the Starlink Gen 3 has or comes with if you are new just don't forget to subscribe to the channel more videos will become right here on this channel okay yes now we have the Starlink dish right here which will be set up what I need to do is to have your um, Starlink mount so you put it in on a mount and then you mount it and you connect it to your router and you would just connect it to a Wi-Fi and you are getting free unlimited data for a whole month with a subscription i will also show it right in this particular video so just stay tuned don't forget to also like the video subscribe to the more um subscribe to more videos right here on this platform will be coming right here on this platform as i said the review will also come as well don't forget to like and subscribe everything will be in the comment section or the description of this video so with the setup this how it's going to be you will take your wall socket and then you will connect it to your um starlink adapter so with the adapter you have to push the uh, the socket drop right here you make sure it is fixed right into it strongly okay you have to pull it and then it will fix into it after that you are going to connect the adapter to the starlink router so from the wall socket to the adapter and from the adapter to the starlink router okay so at the back of it you will see it right here so it is simple with the connection right here and the adapter is a little bit um, long it's not that too long for you okay so yes the cables are not that too long but it's okay for the connection okay so you are going to insert it at the back of your starling router at the back of it then you connect the cable from the Starlink router to the Starlink itself. One thing that I noticed is that the cables are so strong and very um, good. Okay, you can feel that it's strong. Yes, it can hold or resist temperatures and stop all these um, cable agents and things. Okay, per what I, I noticed. Okay, but yes, I'll bring my full review later in another video. So the same thing right here, the same thing I did for the router to the adapter that is the same thing i'm going to do with the starlink router to the starlink itself okay and know that at the back of it are two um 
ports right here for you to connect so they are all line is for you to connect straight from your router to your laptop okay so you will take your cord the cord from the starlink router then you just push into the um, starlink itself so you make sure it is fixed after pulling straight into it then you are good to go you can fix it up so yes let me fix it up and then let's talk more right here on this platform so this is where i fixed my starlink and you can see right here although there is like dust on top of it because of where it is located so the dust and then you know the weather as well that's why it is of that okay and then the cord runs through right here to this side and it goes right here right into the hole to the east side okay so if you want to subscribe subscribe because my videos will become right here on this platform so it just comes in right here and then the starlink router is found right here okay so you can see for yourself it has been connected to an extension board where it will get a power source so yes this is it okay this is where i have faced my and it's good though for the meantime i would say it's very good because of the network speed that i'm getting compared to the mtn that i was using as first so let's give it a little test right here okay so you will download the starlink app you sign into your account and then you subscribe to their monthly subscription and that one it's cost though but let's see whether it is worth it or not okay so you can see right at the top it is online and then we have the obstruction or obstructed right here so you can view your obstructions on the starlink and because of how i have placed it that is um, the, lo the location that i've placed that's why we are having this obstruction but looking at the area where we have the blue it, it is much more than where we have the red so it's good because of um, the blue side that we have it's more okay so when you come to the um let's go to the speed test for you to just see it for just short time okay so there's the speed test running and this is the upload um download speed okay there's the download speed and then there's the upload speed so it will be showing right here at the top you have the speed test right here and then you can see it for yourself right here and down it will be calculating for you so let's wait for it so now it is done with the um mp that's the download speed okay that's the megabyte per second so there is the 284 but it changes anytime you check but mostly i record more than 200 300 and i've seen 400 before okay and with the upload i've seen 26 before as well but you can also run it again you know it changes it changes depending on the weather so now now you can see it is at almost 300 and something you can see it for yourself right here so it changes but the review will bring you everything that you need to know so just subscribe to this channel i'll bring you my full review about the starlink whether you should also buy it or not let's say you want to purchase but i will let you know of the speed and everything i will be testing it with the speed and everything it will be right here on this platform so make sure you like you and subscribe thanks for watching stay alive and bye for now